You never get into solo doing what I was doing on here because, I mean, this doggone thing could not handle it after a while. I had like three or four profiles because I was trying to test out something. This is just another game that I'm not going to be let's playing or anything. I'll be playing. But yeah. So let's see. Um. Yeah. Anyway, hey guys, DVD can be the best in the house here. I mean, hey guys, my name is DVD KMP, and I am the best noob in the house here. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I'm not really sure what when show to go with it. They're all the same, except the, you know, there's a huge difference. There's a little bit of a difference, too. You know, my name isn't the noob, but I am the noob. I'm... So, speaking of news... <laughs> Uh, you know what I decided to do was to never give change again when loading a card at Walmart because they'll just argue with you. Maybe not all the time, but it's enough. I guess like two or three times now since they argue with me. Somebody had to tell her, like, no, 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 this is wrong, you're wrong. Even though I do it by the cat kitty make damn sure it's all correct. You know what? I'm just going to start giving a damn change to a damn delivery guy. <laughs> There's a guy who delivers my food, even if it is chicken. You know. You know, he, he'll appreciate change. Or she will. Whoever the driver is. You know, it's not really the point of the gender either. It's just the point of the... the uh, was gonna accept it. It's like, yeah, you can load it, but don't expect them to not freaking argue with you because they're gonna argue with you until you until they're blue in the face. It's like, hey man, who's a customer here? Me or you? I guess them. That is incorrect, sir. You know, the thing is. As well as, don't ever do two separate orders online. That's really stupid. The thing is, though, is that say you want a specific way of an order, okay? And they'll charge you extra over the phone. Or on the website, when you even, um... On, this is Domino's, by the way. I'm going back to it. I know I'm going back and forth here. But the point is, is they're kind of... They, I guess, as far as that goes. But anyway, the point is, this is this goes that because I did an order oh yeah and um well I did two orders online I mean you could do it but don't expect it to be one total delivery fee it'll be they'll charge you separately let me start that over. They will charge you separately for two different delivery fees. Instead of wrapping it into one. That's insane. I mean, it's okay. But, when you have like overly amounted prices on that shit that I could go and go to a store and get. I'd be better off going to a store. Better off I'm paying somebody like a Mexican. And I, I'm not trying to be racist, but I'm not sure you can find many people or, or like that. When I say like a Mexican, I don't mean it has to actually be specifically a Mexican. That's another reason why it's not, I'm not trying to be racist as well because, well, it's not really racist because I, I've seen people that aren't Mexican do this. But anyway, go to a store and pick you up <clears throat> some, uh, what do you call it? 
food over there. Or they can go over there and pick up you some food from McDonald's. It's a bit more cheaper to go to the store. And get it all done. Even though the food stamps doesn't help you with that. And they can only give you so much. <coughs> Which is not really understandable, but, you know. Not when you're trying to, I mean, I understand when you're doing, when you're like one person and you only need so much, okay, fine. But here's the thing, if you're feeding the family, I'm sorry, but a hundred and even eighty damn dollars is not going to be enough. You'd have to um, get a damn job or something. Speaking of jobs, hard for me to get one, too. And speaking of jobs of that particular a woman was found stabbed i believe i talked about this no said oh no i'm sorry i said no i mean i already talked about that never mind i forget that i i didn't say anything but anyway in local news there was an incident about this man who was pulling down women's pants and trying to forcibly rape them. It's not funny. Now, it's not fair either because then if a woman was to ask you to pull her pants down, Actually, no, that's still not, that's not possible either. You, you still get in trouble anyway, even if they, if like, like, claimed it. It's really stupid. And the thing is, is that... You can pretend all you want to, but it's really not rape, unless it's actually a, a, an actual random stranger who's there without your consent. You know? You know, just because you give consent for someone to come in there and uh, I mean, pretend like they're some random stranger doesn't really count as rape. Sorry, but it doesn't. Um, for you to claim that, even on top of that, would be bad towards victims who have had, who have had that. And anyway... You know, what am I thinking? Sorry, but yeah, uh, you know, I was just thinking how hilarious it would be. But not, and I ain't talking about the R A P E kind of stuff, or because it's like considered bullying somebody. I ain't talking about that. No, but I mean like, if you were in the club. Or basically your own house. Secretly having a secret rendezvous with, with a woman. And she's giving you all the consent in the world. To pull her damn, damn pants down. And yet she claims that she, uh, you know, didn't get consent from her. That would not be funny. Not at all. But the funny part would be. I don't know. Actually, it's not. I just, I'm not sure. I don't know. Sometimes it's just, it's just a stupid human thing to do. I think something could be funny, but then when you more think about it, break it down more and more. Nothing about it is funny. So. Uh, by the time this video comes out, I'll, uh, you know, this will uh, be like way after the last final videos I have of, um, the Super NES video, the Super Nintendo version of this, you know. And it's not really of the final, like, the end of the game kind of thing, it's just like, I was like at the end of the game. And you, yeah, 
I, I said I was going to do this twice a day. Well, I mean, not really twice, but uh, maybe one, once or twice. I've been only doing it once because I can only find one time of the day because mm, I lost two. I mean, I did think about it earlier. And it's true that I could have been doing it earlier during the day, but... No, I'm just doing another side project that has nothing to do with anything that I will never be showing off. But, um... Yeah. I mean, there is one side project I do want to show off. Maybe. If it hasn't already been shown off. Someday. Not right now. And figure of side projects. <laughs> I still haven't done that Doom episode I was thinking about doing. The thing is that there are so many secret step don't make no damn ser sense in the Doom series. As a matter of fact it was Doom Two that had one where you go in there and you can't get in there, no matter what you do. It makes no sense to even bother to kill the imp in there. Because they leave ammo. You know. And. I like the brood room version, but. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't actually play the Brutal Doom version. Yeah, you know, eventually, because I wasn't ready for it, I thought how stupid it would be to just kind of take a uh, Hell Knight or Hell Baron. They're, they're really the same thing. They're not. There's not differences between them. I mean, maybe I think one of them only comes in a pack of two, if I'm not mistaken. That's it. And they all had the same grar. I think, you know. Um, <laughs> you want to talk about scary. A, um, what do you call it? What do you call those damn, oh yeah, cyber demons. Having two or, or even three, two, even, you know, going against that, oh, good lord. It'd be scary as hell. So, um, I've never seen a cyber demon. I remember this one pack before that I've seen before. I thought it shot off missiles, but since I've been since I watched it again, which I wasn't even looking for it specifically, it just happened to come up. Anyway. Um, this cyber demon had two deals on it. I was throwing out flame th shots out of its mouth, out of its hands, but it didn't do missiles. This is a really giant cyber demon. I mean, it's, it was more giant than the regular kind of diamonds that you would see. And I literally saw somebody actually take on you. With a, with a pack of doom, with a, um, with Brutal. Um, Brutal Doom. Sit there and take, it was a custom map, by the way, with the, uh, with the Nazi thing, I don't know, what was that anything, anyway. He goes, help yourself, go hide yourself. And he takes a demon, and, um, Cyber demon, it's a regular kind that would throw, throw missiles at you, and pulls his body halfway apart, and the legs are just sitting there clawing around. I'm like, what? The hell? I actually done that. I mean, I mean, damn. I thought, well, when you first start out, why not take a damn uh, a hell knight or hire baron, and then a, and then do a mancubus, and then do a demon. I don't know if it matters what to order it in. To be fair, if I think about it more. Anyway, so in the last episode, 
We did, uh, we did, the, we finished off the thing, got the beginner's course, and we came, and we did this. I think I screwed up. But either way. So, yeah, um. I don't normally do this, but since we're kind of weak, I never really thought about it either, but I thought, well, you know what? I'll keep them together somewhat tightly until we get more party members and at least and I can start separating them and stuff. And then, be, I mean, you know, even then they can still protect each other. But it's like, okay, if you've ever noticed, which I didn't notice either, was when you do that when they're just by themselves... Yeah, it's kind of hard to protect them from stuff. Protect each other from stuff. And, you know, having yourself in the back row helps certain units with you. I mean, however, you can play however you want to. And I always will personally recommend it, but if we want some good tips. And you want to play this like normally. I don't know. Normally not. Well, you know, more in a safer, cautious way. Then, you know. This game is like, it's kind of a bad idea to be in the front row anyway. Although, in Final Fantasy 4, which, yes, I have seen clips and images of it. You don't have much choice either. A character's going to be either in the front row or the back row. And mainly you're going to have to have your magicians in the back row. That'll be hard to do. Because of the way that it's set up. You know. I believe I've seen some newer versions that I have had where you can actually do the, uh, the deal. You can have them all in the back row. I don't know if it matters or not in battle, but I just know that when on this stream, yeah, it does matter. So either way, which otherwise it would suck in battle. You know, if you kept switching back and forth like that. I'm not even going to talk to him. Uh, as a matter of fact, I screwed up on this and I forgot what I did wrong. Oh yeah, I remember now. That was the fact that I screwed up on the name. So... All I got says one's plenty. Yet... You can actually steal another one. I mean, I don't know what's the point. When they're basic, see, what I don't get, right, as well, and if you look at this, go to skills, doesn't matter who you're looking at, all you see is Sword Tech, Blitz, Lord, Rage, and Dance. Nothing in here about tools or anything else. Uh, not even transformations, no nothing. The only time you see something like that is in battle. What I don't get as well as the whole power armor thingy. Or like, okay, say I want to, uh, let me take an armor. I don't, I don't understand. Thank you. Sorry if you're stealing your stuff here, but you know what? It was there for my picking anyway. Let's see. 11. Integer. Sub. Screen. Eh, I think we'll get one of these. For now. I'll get a couple of these. That'll be fine. And I'll get one of these. And yeah, we'll be fine. Expensive as hell to buy. But yeah, pretty much, you know. What was I talking about now? I don't remember. 
No, I, I gotta admit, there's everything going on. Come here. Come here. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't mean to get you. Yeah. But yeah, pretty much. Ah, oh, what I don't get as well is like on the other phone. If I flip it another way, it'll let me do it. This one here don't let you do it. This is absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah. But, uh... There you go. Anyway, I gotta ration out this food I got from Domino's. That's, that's a lot of food. And I don't like overdoing it, but sometimes when you get really, really hungry, you overdo it. Even if it's, it don't seem like a lot, yeah, your body can only take so much. Or it says, okay, you're either doing one or the other, or you're going to be doing both. You don't know what I'm talking about? Well, I'm not going to tell you anyway. It's pretty just, it's not a gruesome, not a gruesome sight, I mean, not, not a, uh, a, good, a good sight to see. Um, it's very, very gruesome, I mean. Well, when I said not gruesome, I didn't mean to say not gruesome, but anyway. Basically, it's disgusting. Shitting and puking. There. Me. Is that what you wanted to hear? I mean, nobody wants to hear me talk about shitting and puking. So I'm not going to talk about it. I just said, you know, that's that's the kind of thing I was talking about. Oh, it is. I just want, didn't want to say it. In case you're eating something or whatever, whatever reason. Another Phoenix down. Okay, well, you better help us out. I bought his weapons this time. Last time I didn't actually buy his weapons on screen. But um Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh say say here. That way I don't have to go through all that monotonous bullshit. That way if I have to I can talk to him. The, see, the thing is, it may not change anything, but all the extra stuff, um, well, the dialogue and stuff, like, uh, especially if someone's going to die or whatever, it absolutely, it's just like, it may not change anything, but it'll be the only time you'll ever see such dialogue. Even if it's not the best option, or it's probably the poorest choice you could ever make in a game. Even if it really doesn't change things, or even if it does, it's the only time you'll ever see it. After that, there's nothing, you know, like, let's say you go back and redo that all over again just to get the right choice. Well, that's just it. It's, it's the only purpose there is for that one-time deal. If you don't get it then, you're never going to get it. Even if you don't actually play the game as if you actually did it when you go to save. Even if it was the wrong choice or it doesn't change anything. It doesn't really matter. That's the things that uh, you can say about a lot of games that I've seen so far. Especially dialogue and options like, oh, well, should I, should I say this, should I say that? And, it, and a lot of us say something about it. You know, joking and stuff like, um, okay. You know, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. It's not Ed. Edge. Since it's actually done that way, you wouldn't think that way. <laughs> because it, it would be hard unless you've known a little bit. Even though that there are a lot of names you'll never know for sure. Like, back when Final Fantasy VII was released, unless you were growing up around people who were from Japan or whatever, you would never know it was Tifa. Not a, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anybody who ever thought her name was Typha. So, anyway, it always thought of it would have been Tifa. You know, like Tiff. T I F. Even though it would actually be an extra F there, but it's kind of silent. Which I have to agree with the BS man that. You know, it, it, pronunciations are really ridiculous. Or pronunciations. That's what I, it's the same thing. People like to say, you know, how about we go, and, and how about, you know, I also agree with the fact that how about you say it your way and I'll say it my way. You know? So it's, instead of trying to change each other, just have it as is, not, oh my god, man. You know? It's a, it's a lot of bullshit if you, you know, just want to, uh, oh, okay, I can only put so much in there. Edge. I'm just going to call it Edge then, for short. So there you go. I am Edge. King of Red Girl. Okay. Surprise someone like me knows a king. What is up with that? Why are they looking at each other up and down like that? Like, did you know you you could actually look at somebody without actually looking at them? Like without staring at them, just go up and down with your eyes? You know? Did you know you could do that? I bet you know you didn't know you could do that. Talk to you later. So, yeah, in this episode we're going to dedicate to doing this and going to s all the way down to the, um, to the, to the cave... The cave and then this is where we're, I actually guess where we'll stop before we get to another stop. So, you're an Emperor Soldier, no problem. For your own uh, Empire, our allies. Um. How can you be allies? When you I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the storyline doesn't make any sense. Please relax while you're here. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Look, why are you helping me? Oh, this is, see, this is a little bit different from the superness. Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has kept it. You know, blah! You're making me sick. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. Oh, God. I guess your abilities would be a distant third. <laughs> What's with you, anyway? <laughs> guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm, I suppose a normal girl would have found him dashing, but I'm hardly normal. Yeah, no kidding. That's like a foreshadowing events right there. If you really think about it, if you've seen the gameplay footage and you've been as far as I have, that's kind of foreshadowing. And, I mean, if you haven't, you wouldn't know. If you've never played this game or never even seen clips from anywhere, even from you, not even from you actually playing the game, which is actually better to play the game yourself, if you have it in your possession, of course. You know, and it's like... When you think about it, yeah, it's actually foreshadowing because she's not normal. And they wouldn't say it was just because of her abilities of being able to use magic. I mean, it's part of it. 
But then you've got to think about what she actually is. And, um, you know, that's what makes her not so normal. You know, it's not just because of the magic. Or just because she's that, it's all the above. You know. No one has ever been able to be an, an Esper. And be able to be like a normal person and still use magic in any game. Um, even though in this, this one they call it Espers. I don't think that's ever been the name for every class. I think it's always been like either Guardian Force or Summon Monster or some shit like that. And that's the thing about this game. I mean, it's, it's very interesting to see such things. I wonder if this guy says anything. He's, oh, feel free to wonder about. Eh. What does this guy's got to say? Eh. Oh, God. Really? You want some cheese with that grinder sauce you got there? Okay. Never mind. Actually, that didn't work out too well. Hey, what are you two doing over here? Gestalt has harnessed the power of magic. Who can stop him now? Well, I don't know. I heard the Empire is using something called magic. The thing is, even if we could stop Gestalt, who do you think's really going to be the major threat? Because Gestalt, if I remember correctly, dies. And I, mean, I may be wrong about that. Maybe he lives. But I know in some fan-hacked um, versions of this game, um, not in this particular version, or Super NES anyway, just for the record, but um, in some of them, they actually have Gestalt as an optional character. Even one of the, either Wedge or Biggs, I can't remember which one it is, just one of them. And they're with the Magitek armor, of all things. And it's found in some random cave somewhere. I don't even remember where it's at, but it was there. And I don't remember who it was that actually had it, but I saw that. And I was like, okay, you know. And keep in mind, this is not, that would be not the original. It kind of played a little bit like the original, but there was a lot of huge differences. So, you know, I'm not really spoiled. Just on that type of version, maybe. So... You know, because otherwise, you see, a lot of stuff I found out on my own. I didn't bother to go, oh, hey, I wonder if they named her the, that bitch or that whore, that slut in the can. Of course, I don't, yeah, <laughs> to, uh, to be honest, perfectly honest with the way that they have the lim limit cap of what you can spell for names. Yeah, you probably couldn't put it in there. I mean, unless you initialize it. Some rare water, but that a whore slut in a can. <laughs> you probably could do it that way if you were just kind of initializing it, but otherwise, the longer, the much more it's not going to be there. But yeah, basically the point is, is I didn't look up much of anything. I didn't say, hey, did they bar this? Did they go over there and do this? No. I just happened to see quite a bit of it, and there was a lot of differences, and believe me. Even items in the game that were not normally in the game... Weapons that weren't normal. Um, oh my god. Characters that were for like Final Fantasy IV. Uh, power swap versions of them. They've even had uh, versions of like... W they took and did Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Put them in there. But it's using the basic techniques of... Um, I believe it's Cyan or whatever. And, um, I can't think of his name. I think it's Cyan. But anyway, and moving on. So, when you think about it, you know, he, uh, you know. But it's also, I believe, it uses, uh, clouds techniques. Limit breaks or whatever. But it's in the form of, of that. It doesn't, I don't know if it has all of them. And I know there's more than one, except for the final technique. Technique, it's rare that you'll find a second one for the final one. Very rare, and I'm not kidding, there is that. One of this guy will tell me anything different. Doesn't look like it, but this, but this castle incorporates some of the most high-tech advantages from the genre. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So even if I had read it before, probably would have said the same thing. So, 
for girl and I put her yellow eyes. Sure thing, Doc. Figura Castle is the most modern structure in the world. Kind of a foreshadowing hint there. Because of what the castle does. Now, you wouldn't have known that if you didn't ever play this game. So, just like anything in Scholars would. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, but I mean, you know, if you've never played this game and remember starting videos, I go. A forest called the Edgar Lasted. Mage Knights. I don't know if they said that in the last version. Also, there is the Onion Knight. The prophesized Onion Knight. I don't know if that was in the actual three or whatever, but they were included in um, some of the versions. Let's figure out. This is for Garl, the Desert Castle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. You would think that with this many fans going, they might be able to fly. But no, of course not. Like, an airship. You know, that's, that would be something I would love to see. If I'm honest. And I am being honest. I would love to absolutely see a freaking airship castle flying. Weapons and items and fan structures. Here are not are sent to South Bergaro. So, and speaking of uh, stuff, I'm going to try and 100% that entire soldier range because there's going to be items. So this will make it even more easier to do. That was just an e the harder freaking trick to do because it was Super Nintendo. On um, well, it might have been more easier if I had a, a controller proper way to play it, but. It just was not a proper way to, uh, and yeah, lessons learned, don't talk to, to uh, Kefka until later. So, yeah, but I mean, I want to say, though, that, you know, probably have, would have had just a little bit more time if I had done, oh, by the way, you can get a free rest here, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, wasn't there a girl here? Oh, well. Though Edge just showers his attention on women, most are too smart to pay any to pay any attention to him. Yeah. Okay. Look, you won't get on my way. Thank you. First, I tried to hit on the high priestess. Who the hell's a high priestess? Surely he's talked to you. Yeah, he has. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, it's it's amazing he doesn't hit on, like, Celeste or whatever. Damn, what a beauty. And what I don't get is the whole catcalling is a bad thing. It's really a bad thing? I mean, you know, that's not true. Because, I mean, when you, okay, when you, when you see a fine damsel in distress... I mean, yeah, okay, may, uh, maybe I could see your point of somebody not hollering at you, but to give no looks at you, you gotta make up your mind. You can't have one or the other or both. You just can't have that in this world. It doesn't work that way. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, because when you think about it, I mean, you see a woman, and you're not going to go, Oh, hey, uh, oh, never mind. You're too damn ugly for me. <laughs> not unless you're, uh, unless you're a jerk like a Yuichi. His Highness said he'd marry me when I get older. Good for you. I don't see that happening, but okay. Navarre has smashed the three cities on the southern continent. Just a matter, just a matter of time until they come up here. Yeah, because they're not going to be... <laughs> they won't be able to crush this place, though. <laughs> Crazy, ain't it? I like how we can get access to this place, but then later on, from what I, what I know, it's just like, ah, uh, okay. 
Mitch has a twin brother. He was such a nice boy. So you had to come here to show her on the pro the the, uh, the deal. So let's do it. Oh, they look so old, much older now. I'll get it. Youth. Brother, what's wrong with you, uh, with father? What's all this talk of success, or? Are you blind? Look how thin this, his face has become. Eh, what is it? I mean, eh, what is it? Brother? Tears? Edge's twin brother, who traded the, the throne for the, his own freedom. Still a king, by the way. Kind of reminds me of another thing that I've heard before, but I don't know where. I can't place it. Yeah, just in case I screw up there. Seven. Although, I think there's another version for him. Another name. What he's being called, but I don't remember what it is, and I'm not gonna bother renaming him that. Yes, his name is Seven. Oh, he looks so like his father. He did. And he ran away. He was a sweet little child. I wonder what he's like now. Not sure what voice to give her. You know, the thing is... Well, not knowing what the father looked like, how would we even know if he looked like it or not? I mean, I know that it hardly matters, but, I mean, come on, man. Anyway, so now we gotta go talk to, uh... What the hell is his name again? Oh yeah, that cheating bastard that cheated with Dinah in the kitchen again, and not just once, but again. Like seriously, that that damn lock. Seriously, at least King Edward don't fucking or Edge. I wish I called him Edward, but it doesn't really matter. Doesn't cheat like you do. Seriously, I don't like that shit. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like him as a character and all that, but the love and crap that is just going on just doesn't fit. That's like slamming two characters who don't know each other together and forcing them together when they don't belong. Especially when they go and split up and find other people. You might think, well, wouldn't they be together for... Not necessarily. They could. But it's not always the case. So, you know, but there's a lot of times that they can wind up together, and they'd be like, okay, well, you know, okay, so we're together now. And then there's a lot of cases that they may be together for a little while, but then eventually they'll separate and find somebody else to kind of entangle with, or it's a man, a woman, or a whatever else. They just, they just do. You know? They move on. It's called life. And part of life is, is called moving on sometimes. So, in essence... I have to say... Oh, here's somebody I don't mean you, we haven't talked to yet. The whole business of the succession was to re... The whole business of the succession was so repugnant to the, to having the king's brother that he fled the castle forever. The succession was settled with a coin toss. Yeah. Guarantee though well, they both inherited the throne. Yeah, you know, there's no sense in denying that because, I mean, after all, there is no queen. Not officially, anyway. Uh, well, how do you like my castle? King Edge! Someone from the Empire to see you. 
probably kill. Oh god, there's a annoying music. Hey, it's, it's cool though. I like this. But I don't really care for him though. At the same time. Ah, boy, Emperor Gustav's stupid orders. Edge, you pinhead. Why do you have to live in the middle of nowhere? The, these reckon jobs are the. These recon jobs are the, for the pits. Ahem. There's sand on my boots. Yes, sir. All set, sir. <laughs> I could do a better laugh than that. Idiot. Idiots. So, Kifka, what on earth do... Out of my way. I don't know if, it, if it's normal to see him at level 10, but it doesn't really matter at this point in time because, yeah. Can't talk to this guy at all. I thought we were allies. What are you doing in my domain? You've been very busy down south looking for more cities to destroy. That's for us to know. What brings Kefka, humble servant of Emperor Gestalt, into our lovely presence? A girl, no important, since recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. Hmm. This wouldn't have anything to do with this witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? <laughs> That's a tough one. You see, there are more girls here than grains of sand out here. There. I can't keep track of them all. <laughs> I'd hate to be you if we find out you're lying. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious guile. Well, he's not necessarily... He's not lying. There is a lot of women in here. He didn't say that she wasn't here. But he did, she didn't say she, he was, she was here. He just said it's hard to, to know. <laughs> I'd say that guy's missing a few buttons. <sighs> Where's Tara? I'm right here. Oh, never mind. Take her to her room. I'd love to chat with you, but the Chancellor and I must plan our strategy. Sometimes I hate being a king, if you'll excuse me. Follow me. And of course, now we're back in charge of Terra. Yay. I mean, I like how, like, in short instances, we're, like, in charge of one character. They have to follow other characters, and they're by themselves, you know. I wouldn't say I really, really like it, but I don't really hate it. This depends on what it is. I mean, sometimes, yeah, I'll admit that there's some things I might just not really care for and hate so much that I just wouldn't want it, but... You know, whatever. It is what it is. So. Anyway. Don't worry about a thing. I mean, don't worry about a thing. I'll... You're Locke, right? Can't you tell me about you? Is it true you're a thief? That's treasure hunter to you. On the surface, Edge pretends to support the Empire. The truth is... He's collaborating with the Returners, an organization opposed to the Empire. Okay, with that, I'll be right back. I gotta take a break. Unfortunately, I hate to take this kind of break. You know, I just got through. Um, I mean, I'm back now. And the kind of break I wouldn't want to take was go to the restroom. 
Man, you know, sometimes I don't mind it, but man, man I'm not gonna get into it. Also, yeah, this will be the, se the second time I showed on the screen getting weapons and another thing. I don't understand why the internet sometimes goes down. It's like it's up, but then it goes down. Same thing with the Wi-Fi. I'm as close as you can get. And the Wi-Fi, actually, believe it or not, is like, what? Um, well, actually, I'm a little bit further away right now, but uh, when I get close enough to my wall here, it's like, what, about five or ten meters away? And this phone can pick it up like that. Like that, you know. So, and the reason I pay for both, I, you know, or I, I both of a plan of Wi-Fi and data, it's like that's the only way I'm on the road. I don't have to worry about incurring RAS or somebody shutting down my internet. <clears throat> Even though it is kind of crappy sometimes but at least it'll play you know even though that sometimes it's like on high dive or or so all actually some fun animation like somebody's a jealous a-hole wants to come up here and like kind of pause the entire internet and make it buffer anyway so I'm going to get back in here and get comfortable. I'll be right back again. Alright, so what I decided to do... I know I should have already done that and got comfortable, but I thought I would just get on it because I had some things to think about. But anyway, the truth is, he's collaborating with the Returners in our nation of Post the Empire. I don't remember if I read that or not, but if I have, completely disregard that. I am in contact with that group. I don't understand. But to what was said earlier, the old man you admit in Narsh is one of us. Empire, but I'm a soldier of the Empire. That's not true. They were using you. Things are different now. I don't understand. What should I do? I can't tell you what to do. You don't have to decide right now. You'll soon find your way. And... But how will I know which way is right? Poor Tara. <laughs> kind of feel bad for her. going on here I'm not even in control I thought it was I mean it's even as you are I don't know age with the question mark what the eh, what the I like how there can be fire on metal What's happening? It's the Empire. It's Kefka. Which is it? Why don't you just say it's both the Empire and Kefka? I mean, you know, it's just saying it's the. Like, you're trying to make up your mind which one it is. Anyway. What are you doing? Get ready. Yes, sir. Change your mind. I guess I have no choice. <whistles> or maybe I do. Ack! Shave all that a king should flee, leaving his people behind. How utterly delightful. You know, the only way that truly if a a uh, castle was to burn this if it had wood inside. 
I don't understand how it would work with windmill or open fans like that, but you know, whatever. Game logic, whatever. Jump! Yay! Oh, so I decided to shorten this, so you know. Okay, dive now! Yahoo! I like how we get the chocobo thing. I mean, the, uh, not terrible, but the chocobos are right. I like how he just jumped down there. <laughs> okay, I, that was too fast. I'm sorry. You'll have to read that on your own. I'm sorry about that. No one can defeat the people of Figaro, says Chancellor. I like how there's, like, different stairs up there now. <laughs> That's pretty interesting and unique. And uniquely interesting. So once we get to the cave, I'm just going to cut it off there, and then I'll save that for another episode. Cut that off there, because... Once we get to that one place, i got to make it another shorter episode, and then we're going to make it a long episode. Go get them! Yeah, and I'm not going to use magic at all. M kick armor. I like how we're not on chokeables in this metal kick. I like how it doesn't look like there's any shoulders in this. And I don't know why this is a. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh well. That's what is known as, uh, you know, confuse. Oh, that sucked. Oh well. I got another potion. Those are kind of rare at the moment. I just simply can't buy those at the moment. And because we don't have enough money to buy them anyway. Bravo for you. Son of a... Son of a submarine! Now pay for this! <laughs> One of the famous lines in the villain can ever say. Son of a submarine. This is great. Is that a bad person? I I'm scared. Tara, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Our members of the Returners are meant to bend. I certainly like to meet you. Well, uh, magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic. Tara has magical powers that Esper seen. Magical powers. That's that's what seemed to react to her. Can there be some connection? I haven't the foggiest. It should. It just seems natural to me that I have the use of this power. No human is born with the powers you seem to have. And wait a minute. What was? See, the classic thing is repeating yourself. I don't really care for that kind of crap. That's kind of stupid. By the way, uh, not that I didn't already tell you, but we're members of the Returners. You are? No shitting? Anyway. Also, we didn't even use magic in the power, because we already got a cutscene, so, you know, whatever, I should have done that. Uh-oh. I apologize. What should I do? I'm sure the Empire is going to come after you. If they get their hands on you again, the world's finished. Terra, you want to understand your own powers, right? And I think we need to consult with Bannon. Please. 
Okay, to the south there's a cave that leads to South Figueroa. I don't think we can get over there if we go this way. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Nope. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's go to the cave. And then we'll end it there because we're going to have to get off of the chocobo. I mean, you know, the thing is, I've never seen that one game where you can actually have a chocobo in a cave. Other than Balco, and he was the only... I, I seen images, by the way. I just didn't. I didn't watch the videos or nothing. But he can actually be in a cave, but you don't really use him for anything. He just uh, uh, he just sits there and it's all, I guess, uh, for some reason. Anyway, the hell am I going? All oh, right, here. All right. I okay, got we can get off on the mountain there, but we're gonna save first, which is what I recommend you do. Whoa! What are you doing in the front row? Don't think so, Buster. And yes. There's also something you may not know about saving. If you just use a save state, um yeah, it can get corrupted. Especially if you try to reload the game at some point instead of it being on a memory card. And even though memory cards have a tendency to get corrupted, even a real life memory card, not just not on emulation as well. You know, that's another thing you didn't know about. But, you know, and you need to anyway. I <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you didn't know. Oh, crap. Anyway, that's uh, all the time I have for this episode. And, um, as always, uh, check the links down below. Subscribe to them, except for mine. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Check mine out for a playlist. Or, uh, playlist tap or playlist. Play on the playlist I have done, personally. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. Punch the crap out of the subscribe buttons. Punch the crap out of that like button with all your friends, you know, and share with all your friends. Share the crap out of it. And, um, yeah, as always, you know, thank you all for watching, and in the next episode, we will, uh, do this little short cave, and then we'll move on to, um, meeting up with Bannon. That'll be an even longer video, probably, than this. Uh, because of the tides, the rapids we got to go through. So, there is that. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Later, bye bye.